Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audible, www.audibletrial.com slash coinop. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. That's audibletrial.com slash coinop. Intro. Set of coin opera of Cody and Brian here to talk about stuff that actually matters in life. What's your favorite plant? Like, what's your favorite tree? My favorite tree? Yeah, like your favorite tree. That's a random question. Well, one of my favorite trees is the banging tree. The banging? Is this thing about banging tree? Yeah, banging. Oh, the banging. I'm like, no, no, of course, no, like banging. the banging tree. Like, oh, yeah, bang. Like, 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 bang. Ah. No, it's the banging tree. That's that's actually one of my favorite trees from because my elementary school was called Banyan Elementary. Oh, yeah. And we had banging trees in the area, and then I found out that there's banging trees in Vietnam. Mm, okay. What does it look like exactly? It's like a regular fucking tree. It's a regular fucking tree. It's just tree. a regular fucking tree. Like, Is you like because it connects to your school and everything? Yeah, I guess so. Like, yeah, and so, yeah. I think that's what also started. Like, my favorite color was being green because we're the Banyan Bulldogs and our colors were green, green and white. Banyan Bulldogs, yes, BBs, sir. The little BBs. Yeah, Brian's little BBs. Yeah, I feel ya. Mine, um. Uh, man, the tree in my front yard in my house, it's, um, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's a, is there, uh, it's like a gum, like a sequoia, it's, uh, not sequoia, that wouldn't be right. No. It's like a gum, I think it's like a gum tree or like a, some sort of, it's like a false oak looking tree. Okay. It's hard to sp- explain. Yeah. Like, my dad called it something before. I'm trying to, I'm blanking out what the fuck he called it now. Uh, he said something about a gum tree or something like that, but that doesn't make any sense, right? I don't know. Yeah, because like everyone's talking about like, oh my god, I love like... I love oak. I love giant sequoias. Redwoods. I love good red. red. Big old redwoods. Red it's so great. <laughs> Such great redwoods. Yeah. But like, it's just so, I don't know why I was looking at the plants here in, in uh, my boss's office and I'm like, let's talk about trees. Yeah, dude. Because right before we started, like, we were like, oh, let's talk about the Captain Marvel trailer. Everyone's been talking about that shit. Because yeah. everyone's like, oh my God, Blockbuster, I miss video rental stars. And we're like, okay, whatever. And then, Oh my god, I went, uh, Why is everyone's voice sounds like Kermit the Frog? Captain Marvel's punching an old lady! Now they sound like little mice. But little like, mice people. Like, everyone's like analyzed it to ad nauseum. Like, look at this Easter egg. And I was like, fuck it, that's fucking boring. Um, it is. Then everyone's been analyzing Spider Man to like ad nauseum. I know. I was and, I was thinking I was talking about because I did get it. I actually bought a yeah. new game for once and it's been a while but, but I bought that one. But I'm not surprised because like Christine loves Spider Man. Yeah, so she sits there and watches me play it the yeah, entire time. Yeah, it's an open basically. world game and. There's so many different like Spider-Man references, so that's something that's it, right along her alley. It's like Arkham Asylum, but with Spider-Man, essentially. Yeah. Uh, like, honestly, the, the entire gameplay is just like that, essentially. Yeah, so it's like everyone's, talking, yeah, everyone's talking about this stuff, and it's like the PlayStation Classic. Yeah, everyone's not talking which about I have all those games already at yeah. that point me getting So there. it's ad nauseum, and I'm, right before we started, I was like, dude, everything that people are talking about, why, yeah. why uh-huh. do we, we don't have to contribute to the masses of just garbage? Yeah, that's true, man. Like we, we gotta be something different, dude. Yeah, we gotta start change our image slowly. How about that? You know, we could be a botanist podcast. Oh, dude, I'm so down for that because I wanted to be a botanist for the longest time before I did biomed, and so like, I know a lot of uh, I yeah, like, because like, of plants like and trees. Just, yeah, well, no, that 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 actually made me want to be a scientist to begin with. I lie and tell people, oh, it's because I want to like help people out, but nah, I want yeah. to do stuff that they do in Parasite Eve. I, I, I tell people the two stories. I tell people that was the friend that used to know that you wanted to cure her diabetes. Yeah. And then I'm like, the, the people I really trust, I'm like, guys, oh, because of Parasite Eve. Yeah. And people are like, what the fuck's Parasite Eve? I'm like. Go fuck yourself. I must say, read the book and then oh, play the game and then read the book. Both of them are yeah. really awesome. But no, like first game, the second game, second game sucked. Anyways, yeah. and then the PSP game. The PSP was I don't even count as a game. Yeah. So, but no, like we're and it was just like what, what's different? What's unique that we could talk about? And I just think just not because like everything's like oh nerd this nerd that me nerd. But me, 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 <laughs> gatekeeping, comic gatekeeping. Yeah. It's like comic gate. Oh my fucking god, that shit's retarded. Yeah, yeah. It is, man. Um, but like, I don't. It's weird because. 
Well, can we talk about at least one thing, kind of right? Like, I want because Batman's I, dick. I well, I wasn't gonna get to that. I was gonna say I wasn't uh, this weekend was Batman Day, and I wasn't yeah. here for it. Did did a comic shop do anything special? They gave like some free comics, and then they did buy two get one free. True, and then apparently, I guess there's this new Batman's dick thing going. Oh around. yeah, and Batman Day. I didn't see. I didn't read. I saw the title of it, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I didn't get a chance to read yeah, it yet. I read but. it. It's, it's so. Good, what is this? Is this it's a new... part of the DC Black series? Is, like this, the Black is this basically title? just like young the young animal stuff they were do, trying to do? A l- not necessarily young animal. It's more along the lines of they made the DC characters more dark and more grounded oh, in the real world. Okay. And so apparently showing a dick is real world. Yeah, because, you know, Batman He's gets... He's legit uh, see his penis? Yeah, because Batman gets naked and, you know, a guy gets naked, you're going to see... You're going to see some, some dickage. Oh, my God. He's probably hung like a fucking horse, isn't he? He's hung like a bat. So he's, he's no, no dick? No. <laughs> what are you well, talking about? DC censored it and they took off his dick. So, so he has no... Like, he has, he's got no dick. So he's a Ken doll. He's, he got no dick, man. He ain't got no dick! That's funny, man. I would say he's all balls but no shaft, but he ain't got They didn't even show the balls. No, they didn't even show him. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta realize, like, this guy has to protect his dick, like... Oh, I know, man. All those superheroes, man. I always think about that, too. And, like, the protection, just, like, dude, that they have to, like, all the men superheroes, like, they fucking have to wear cups. Oh, yeah. And have you ever worn a cup before? I know, yeah. You, play, you yeah, played hockey. hockey. They fucking suck. I, I had to in my baseball. Cup, I didn't I didn't wear them in football at all. I my couldn't cup, even do it. Like, I'm not saying, oh, my cup is bigger than your cup. No, my cup was protected, like, everything, like... Really? Well, because it also had to protect, like... Um, I might have too, but it just felt uncomfortable, man. Well, no, I'm not just talking about, like, the, the packages. It's more along the... It's more along, like, it had to protect... Oh, there it is. Bat dick. Nice. <laughs> That's... Well, well, um, what's the story about in there? More, more bat dick. I just showed pictures of oh my God. I showed pictures of Batman's bat dick. I can't believe they showed that. That's crazy. But he's naked, so it's like, well, you know, you kind of have to show him naked. And right. I didn't, like, the first time I read it, I didn't realize it when he was walking by that he was naked. Because there's a, there's a thing of him, like, sitting down. I uh-huh. was like, oh, my God, you see Bruce Wayne's little pee-pee. <laughs> His little pee-pee. Oh, this, I'll show you the one I'm talking about, because there's three scenes where you see it. I thought that was only one, so that was, you showed me one, and then... You showed me one I saw, then you showed me another one, now you're going to show me another one. This is the one I saw. It's him sitting down. Oh, my God, yeah. And he has a bush and everything. I was like, oh, my God, there's Batman's stick, And I didn't realize I saw it two, <laughs> a few pages earlier. What's... Oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God, it's w- his dick. What's the story about, though? Uh... The Joker dies. Like, the Joker's dead. And so it's all alt- alternative universe yeah, stuff. Yeah, alternative okay. universe stuff. All right. So the Joker's dead, and they're trying to figure out... Batman's like, did I kill the Joker? Did somebody How else How does he know if he didn't kill or not? He just doesn't know, because he doesn't remember what happened. Really? Yeah, so it's kind of crazy. Oh, I gotcha. But it's a cool story. Like, I really do enjoy it. I really do like it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And then the Batman Day stuff was kind of just like, eh. Yeah, it was like, whatever, we don't give a shit anymore. True, I feel yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, but other than that, man, I mean... That's that's about it. Like with comic news, it's just Batman's dick. That's that's the big thing. And the DC Direct Batman. came out too. Yes, the DC Universe. Uh, do you have it yet? Yeah, I have it. Is it worth it right now? Uh, it has all the old TV shows. Yeah, I was gonna wait until some other stuff gets on there for you. So you, you have it. like all the original Teen Titans. You uh-huh. have Young Justice. You have Super Friends. Yeah. You have. Is it uh, easy to read the comic stuff on the TV? To try a TV um, one yet? Not yet, because it's only sure. on the Roku. Yeah. Is like, it really? Yeah, it's on, it's on the Roku, oh, God, Android, Roku. Apple yeah. devices, but or Apple phone, yeah. but it's on the Roku for the streaming stuff. That's I mean, good. it's interesting. I saw the first episode of Titans, and it was kind of shitty. I know. I'm not looking forward to watching that, honestly. No, so I saw the first episode. It was kind of like, ugh. Yeah. Uh, not because it was like, oh, fuck Batman. It's Starfire legit. It looks like a fucking hooker still. Yeah, it's, that's a weird choice they did. DC Universe is just fucking just... They, I don't think they know what to do. I don't think they know, I know man. what they're capable of. Because the problem with DC Universe is like, yeah, you know, it's really cool stuff. But at the same time, it's also... They don't know. They really legitly don't know. I know. It's just... It's a dark time, man, for DC. It was doing. They were, they were doing so good. And then, like, all of a sudden, they're just like, it was just shit the bed. Yeah, they really did. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah, something that, like, not a lot of people, I mean, you've, you've heard it, the, did you check out the podcast, the uh, Wolverine, The Long Night? 
Not yet. I went. I, I downloaded it because of uh, it was on uh, television. Oh, for a sec, for, for a second here, I thought we were, you had an ad up, ad for it. That every other fucking podcast in the world ad, is, has an ad for that. No, fucking, we're not that important. Oh yeah, no. I was like, damn, did you get that? That was fucking awesome. No, you, you, friend, you. Shit. I would have known, but you like, would have known if I got that shit because I would have fucking texted. I thought you were trying to hide it from me or something, like do a surprise for him, like, oh, we got a fucking head. Yo, we got a fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not that big yet. Hey, that, that, but when I did apply for Spotify, I checked the numbers. There were some increase in downloads a little yeah. bit, so that's good. We're yeah. getting, you know, uh, yeah. By the way, we're now we're just this past weekend. I got we got us on uh, Spotify. Uh, tune in is another site, and then iHeartRadio, so you can get us on all those platforms as well too. So yeah, I'm just so I'm just we're just I'm slowly just um I took a picture of him. He looked like a piece of shit. Um, <laughs> don't worry, I look like a piece of shit too. I've gained weight. Yeah, dude. Uh, I've a lot of weight. I stop sucking dick. Uh, dude, sucking dick's got a lot of calories. I know the semen's got a lot of calories, bro. Yeah, dude. I didn't even realize that. So I guess I gotta start running like. And I'm like, yo, man, if I'm gonna suck your dick for twenty bucks, we gotta at least run around the block like twice. Dude, I I can't. I, for the past two months, I've stayed at two seventy. I can't. And no matter what I do, I can't leave that weight. I don't know why it's so weird. I just stayed at fat ass. Yeah, I can't leave that weight. Yeah, I'm so I'm trying to lose that though. But anyways, yeah. uh, so we're on those sites. I'm trying to get us more on more platforms so we yeah, get more I know, coverage. Yeah, I know. I know I reached out to Google Play and they just never got back to us. I thought we were on that. Are we on Google Play? I'm pretty sure we are. Oh, okay. I always mention that we are on the Facebook whenever I do the advertisements and stuff. I just never use Google Play. I'm pretty Play. sure we are. I think I looked it up before and I'm pretty sure we're on Google the, the Google Play Store. I'm pretty sure. Um, okay. Yeah. I know we're on Stitcher. Yeah. I know when we got on Stitcher, that was like, you guys were on Stitcher? What? I know. That was and now, the, like, that was everybody's a big on, thing. And now everybody's on fucking Stitcher. I know. Dead grandmothers are on Stitcher. Yeah. They're dead grandmothers on Stitcher. How's that even possible? I don't know. It's the fucking internet. Yeah, they'll, they'll figure out a way. Yeah. No, it's just funny. Because I've been, I've been thinking about, like, the whole, like, I guess it's more, like, uh, retrospectively thinking about it all, that everybody's so mass-consumed with everything that the nerd community is doing, and it's just, it's insane where, like, Batman's dick makes it to the news. Isn't it? Isn't it insane? There's a Batman day that makes the news as well too. Yeah, so like, you like that's to... fucking mind bending to me. And I guess it was just really weird to see if this was, dude, if this was five years ago, and you say, oh yeah, DC's doing Batman day, and everyone's like, get the fuck out of here. I know, dude. It, it even still, even though a lot of people didn't like a uh, 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 Suicide Squad, like even that alone, like. Was the most mind bending thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I've never in my life think there would be a, like a, like a, a live action Suicide Squad. Yeah, like shit like that. Like like it's exactly. just it's crazy nowadays, dude. And one of the things that like it was really interesting, at least in Orlando, when a uh, comic shop did a lot of their events. Uh-huh. I remember when they were protesting the superhero this for Civil War. Yeah, they were protesting that, and that was like a small blip. Mm. It was like oh yeah whatever, but now if they were to come out with Civil War now. It'll be a huge fucking marketing thing. Oh, yeah. It'll be like what a comic shop did times a thousand. Oh, yeah, dude. And it's just like, fuck, man. This is like our everyday life. This is just normal for us. And I don't know. I guess I got to the point where... Do you think you're overcrowded flooded with it now? Oh, fuck, yeah. We've been overcrowded for like years. Because yeah. I was talking to I was talking to, to my director. Mm. And one of the things that we talked about was just like... There's just so much medium to like consume that you don't so much content. You don't have enough time. There's no time to do it, and you have to pick and choose. I mean, just the CW TV shows. That's what there's four shows. Yeah. Uh, three of them are twenty two episodes. So that's sixty six hours. Yeah. A year of Arrowverse stuff, and then you have Legends of Tomorrow, which is what thirteen episodes. I mean, I think it's the same number of episodes as the other shows. Oh, so it's 22 now? Yeah, it's always been like that. No, I, when it originally started, it was like supposed to be like 12 episodes. Like six, It was supposed to be a limited run. I'm pretty run. sure it wasn't. Uh, like, uh, well, maybe that first season might have yeah. been, I don't remember. But the, after since then, it's been like the 22s and stuff. Like no, normal days and everything. Holy shit. Yeah, because if that's the case, then, dude, that means there's 88 hours of just pure DC content on the CW. Yeah. Like Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, stuff like that. Legend of Tomorrow. It's, yeah, it's crazy, man. Like we're just this is just, like this, I think we mentioned a lot of times before. This is the new age, man. This is where we can finally thrive and grow. But now, like like you're saying now too, and I kind of agree with you. It's almost like 
hitting us over the head with the fucking nerd stick. It's just like, dude, like, okay, like, I get it. Like, well, it's cool now. The stuff that we fucking thought was cool and no one else did is now cool. I get it now. I understand. But, you know, but then like I said, then I still get amazed every once in a while. Like, I'm just like, wow, like, I can't believe, like, yeah. this is happening. Like, fucking, um... Yeah, it's it's it, insane that they're able to do this much stuff with it that it's like, it makes it to the mainstream media. Like, a Spider-Man game is, like, the fucking number one, like, selling, selling game. video game of all, like, uh, almost of all time at this point, I would yeah. imagine. Just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would never have thought that. It's, and, uh, yeah, and I did yeah, a documentary but, years and years and years ago about a comic shop. I gotta find it. It's really bad, but it's really fun. Like, um, like, 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 it was a live documentary. Yeah, that I did. Oh, you did it? Yeah. How how long is it? It's like ten minutes. Dude, we have to play that and yeah. record us look going over it. I'll look for it. Yes. But um, one of the things that Aaron said was, and this was maybe twelve years ago. Uh huh. I think I want to say it's oh eight, or no, I want to say it's like oh seven oh eight that he said this. But he said, like, you know, we have comic book movies, number one in the box office, and the only thing that take, knocks out a comic book movie is another comic book movie. Mm-hmm. And this is, let's just say this was 15 years ago, and you're going, holy fuck. He was right. He was right before he was right. That's why he makes the big bucks. Yeah, I know. That's why he keeps fucking firing me and hiring other people, and then they fucking fail, and he hires me, he hires me back on. Is that, is, this, is that what's been happening so far? Yeah, I got fired again. Did you? Yeah, I got fired from the eBay stuff. Damn. And it wasn't because I wasn't doing it. It was just because he was like, oh, yeah, I'm just doing it myself. And he got tired of doing it. He's like, oh, hey, it's so-and-so. You're doing it now. And the guy's like, okay. So I give him, like, six, probably, like, two months. And he's like, Brian, you're doing eBay's again. I'm like, the fuck? Okay. How much do you get for that? Uh, 10% from, 10% of all sales, of the final sale price of the item I get. True. So, so eBay, we, uh, I need you to help me with that stuff. Yeah. Maybe this weekend if we have time. So he owes me a shit ton of money. All we're, right. we're trying to figure out how much he owes me. Oh, God. Because he never kept track of it. Oh, my God. And I never did, too. Oh, what? He should have been keeping track. I would, I, I would keep track of every fucking cent I made. Yeah, but he's given me, I pretty much from store credit alone. Because he's like, oh, just use store credit until we figure out how much I actually owe you. Oh, I've there you spent, go. I've probably spent like $300 worth of store credit, so. Okay, well, that's okay, then. That also includes, like, the hours I've worked there and shit like that. Yeah. Holy but yet, shit. I have keys to the store and the alarm code. Do you still do? I have keys to the key keys and the alarm code. Oh, dude. That's awesome. Yes. So you can just go there wherever you want. Yeah, I can just go there, steal everything, wear a mask, and like, who the fuck entered? It's like... Yeah, you're definitely not going to do that. No. Yeah, there you go. I, I have to say that just in case. I'd never want to enter that fucking strip club again. Dude, yeah. Oh man, I haven't been to that. I told you that, that experience yeah, like I had Sonic before, night. man. Like, but yeah, I, that's just. And I keep seeing advertisements about it, and like, I keep thinking, like, maybe it'll be okay this time. But I'm just like, nah, deep down, I'm like, nah, dude. It's it's garbage. It's uh, it's really sad, honestly. Like, I like, God, man, we spent a lot of time in that in that one building, dude. Oh yeah. In that one part of that building, like, just thinking about all the years we've been de- there, like, God, we spent a lot of time there, and now it's just like, fuck that. It's so yeah, man. It's it's just crazy that like you think about the places that we used to spend a lot of time and like World of Beer. Dude, kinda... I know, right? Like we don't even go. I haven't been to that World of Beer in fucking almost a year. I feel like I gotta go to the, get my my two fifty plaque because they took a bunch of them off the wall. You better grab that. Yeah, yeah I know. Mine was the best quote too. I, forget, I always forget what it is. What is I it? I drank a lot of beer. Yeah, I drank a lot of beers. Two fifty, in fact. But I still <laughs> hate IPA. That is an awesome quote, by the way. I like that one. You need to grab that so you can just have that. Yeah, I need to get that one. Um, but yeah, like, because, uh, what was it, two weeks ago for, like, the first football Sunday, they posted some photos on Instagram, and one of the things about Wall of Beer was, they were like, yeah, we don't we don't bring in domestic crap. Hmm. Now they do. Now they have a bucket full of Bud that. Light, Miller Light, Coors Light. I was like... Do you think it's because they're getting desperate? Yeah. Yeah, I was still, like, the Wall of Beer in Altamont closed. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And a bunch of them are just like jumping ship in the world of beer brand, and it's that's weird. I thought they would be doing really good because that's the whole end thing is the yeah, beer. craft beers. But I think craft beer is starting to lose its mystique of it. You think? Yeah, because now it's becoming like a popular thing, and Budweiser bought out a lot of the craft breweries. Ah, uh, they did. I did hear about that. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I remember like the exclusivity of a lot of these beers, like the Bourbon County Barrels, Bourbon County Barrels. Which is by Goose Island. Budweiser bought them out. Now you see Goose Island. That you fi- you could find that beer anywhere. Because I remember when really, 
when it was released two years ago, it sold out the same day. Same day they put it out on the shelves, it sold out. Right. That shit took forever because now you can find that shit at Publix, everywhere. Damn, there's a Texas beer that I had when I was doing it. Was no, it was okay. a Texas a and I had, and it was so good. And I asked the guy, do they sell out of Texas? And I, uh, outside of Texas, I first said no, but I said, well, look it up. He looked it up. And he was like, oh, no, wait, I think Budweiser bought it at the out. And I don't remember the fucking beer now. I, I remember the, the tap was a, was an old pistol gun. And, oh, it's going to drive me freaking bananas. Well, we could look it up, like, the stuff that M- A- uh, Ambev has bought out. Yeah, because that was that beer was so good. Like yeah. I had like two or three of those that one night. It was so good. Yeah, um, Texas A&M was a, is a weird place. It was cool, but yeah, they definitely declined me. I guess I can say that on here. I, I think the last time we talked, I was about to go visit it, and um, or I might have already visited at that point. I can't remember. But, yeah, I can't remember either. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they they uh, declined me, and they yeah. fucking just. I felt so stupid because I'm just like, like their, their, their their response was just like, oh, you didn't have the right skill set. And I'm, I just want to say like, you wasted all of our time. You could have just read my CV and, and talked to my professor like you did and you should have known from what, my speech and everything that I gave you guys that I didn't have the right skill sets. Like, why would you waste all of our times with this? Yeah, but, for real. That's eh, whatever, man. There's other fish out there. Yep, yep. And I start snagging up with the freaking, the job stick. Yeah, yeah. You know, you just put on your job hat. Put on your job vest and go out there and get a job. <laughs> and I drive my job mobile. <laughs> I get <laughs> on the way there. I get a job coffee and get some a job breakfast sandwich, and I just get to the job and I and I and I tell them about my job. Yeah, and then I have my job. <laughs> and then you get a job. That's how you. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works. You just job it up. Yeah, you put all you. I put on my job pants on yeah. one job at a time. <laughs> Oh shit, that's that's funny. Um, we have digressed into madness. I know, man. Ah, this is what we should be doing. I know. I mean, I I guess because I've been listening to like a lot of the Tom Steve Dave's, a lot of the um, just more like the everyday type podcast, and I just started realizing like when we first started doing Coin Operated, so structured. It was structured, way. but at the same time, it was the nerd stuff was there, but it wasn't there. Mm. Because people, you'd be like, oh yeah, I'm going to MegaCon. Man, you fucking nerd. Now it's just like, yo, you're going to MegaCon? I'm going to MegaCon, bro. They're like, the fuck? You're like, oh, two years ago, you are making fun of me for going to MegaCon. Now it's like, you're going all weekend long, you're dressing up every single fucking day? Yeah. The fuck? And you're like, yeah, man, I love the girl with the big ass anime biddies. <laughs> anime biddies? Yeah, like, that the appeal that fucking was just like, they made fun of everyone playing Pokemon, and then Pokemon Go first came out, they're like, I played it now. And oh like, my god, so I love cool. Pokemon. I used to play this as a kid. You're like, no, you didn't. You yeah, never played it as a kid. Not. You made fun of me for it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, no, Damn. no. I used to love that shit. Today, they're doing the uh, Mewtwo e- like the, the Mewtwo raids are free, like, and they're going to be everywhere, apparently. Oh, today. I didn't see any today. Well, I think it started at three, between three to uh, two to five or something like that. I didn't that. see any today. Like Really? I thought they were going to be at every gym. No, I didn't see anything. Wow, that's crazy. And it, I was at lunch break too. It wouldn't matter, anyways. Uh, dude, it's so. I'm gonna talk about going real fast. It's they're so dumb. Like the company is so fucking retarded sometimes. Because like, why would you do a huge event like this on a fucking Thursday afternoon when every majority of people are gonna be at work and or they're at school or whatever? Like, why would you not do this on Saturday? Oh, it starts today. That's what I'm saying. It starts today at sometime. It's only today. No, is it's it not? YouTube raid battles. September 2018 at 1 p.m. PDM uh, to October 23rd. Wait, are you? Let me see this. Dude, me I see. legitly just haven't pulled up. It's from today to October 23rd. So, see. so after this, if there's a new to raid, we can go do it. Oh, fuck. I thought it was just for today. No. Nah, uh, bitch. You know what? I, you know what? Uh, me and Christine finally missed our first legendaries. We didn't get any Reggie Rocks. That's the first legendary we didn't get. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's re- it really pissed me off. You know why? Because the Lake Nona fucking people are the worst Pokemon Go players I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, dude. Like, we saw, like, I saw that shit firsthand when the guy, like, legitly texted you and Christine, hey, we could do it at 6.30. Yeah, and, and we like, get them there. Well, we're all done. We're all done. And it was like, the fuck? What do you mean you're all done? And then he texted you, texted you guys back on Discord, like, an, almost an hour later, going like, oh, yeah, you know, we did it. 
But, yeah. you know, I could do it again if you want. You're like, dude, the, the battle's already fucking over. I know, dude. Like, I, like dude, I miss the Oviedo group so much. They're the most reliable. The UCF Oviedo group, and the, the UCF, the Pokemon Go U- Oviedo group, shout out to you guys on the, like, if you have any of them listening about that. But, like, that group was the best Pokemon Go group I've ever seen in my entire life. They were yeah. organized, ready to go. They accepted everyone. They weren't assholes. It was awesome. But these, like, none of people, it's like, it's they're, they're fucking, they're, they don't know what, what they're doing half the time. And it's just like, oh my God. We were spoiled, me and Christine. Were. Have you thought about going back to like Oviedo on like Saturdays and stuff? That's why I, I, I mean, to tell Christine, I, I'm like, dude, we got to do that. Like, I think I told her once or other, we got to go back and do that like for like, a weekend or something because like this is not working out for us over yeah, here. I mean, like, no, no, it fucking sucks. Yeah, because you, you keep telling me about like how many of you guys have missed out on. It's like, well, why don't you guys just do it? Like, I know, that's a good idea. And, we, and now she has weekends off. Like, yeah. We can do that now. Yeah, you so. just go out on like a Saturday morning, just head off to the area. I mean, shit, man. We could probably just hang out in the mornings, if anything. Or I know, yeah. That, do something. Yeah. So now you're getting back having the Pokemon Go now, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm so back into it. Well, I mean, at least you're playing it. Like, some people I know, like, I know some people, yeah, like. Nick's not playing it. I know, he has. That's why he's going to be fat, fat-ass Nick again. He's going to be fat Nick, big old Nick again. Big um, dick Nick. Yeah, right. Um... I, uh, yeah, so, so this past week I was at Kyle's house, uh, went and visited him, it was his birthday and everything, we played this game called, Un- have you ever heard of Unstable Unicorns? No, but Christine put a shit ton of it on her Instagram. You motherfucker, we're playing it this weekend. Saturday after you guys are done with your thing at yeah, Disney. Yeah, the buggy. Yeah. Buggy, buggy. So yeah, you're, I, I know you're doing something, you're being at Disney most of the day on Saturday, but after when you guys, since you're being in the neighborhood... You should come by our place yeah. and hang out, and we're gonna fucking play this game like crazy because it, it, it's a it's a, okay. So unstable unicorns for everyone wants to know. It's a fucking card game, um, like uh, you know, like one of those board games slash card yeah. games kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like a self contained card game. Yeah. There we go. So like, it's the most <laughs> ridiculous, like kiddish, cute, girlish, cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. But the gameplay of it is so much fun, dude. It's oh, so fun. Def- it's yeah. funny. It's a very funny game. Right. Yeah, definitely we'll check it out. Like, like, the whole point of the game is literally is to have seven unicorns in your stable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all I got. Like, and, like, like, there's, like, magic effects. Is it, like, instance. exploding kittens type stuff where it's, like, it's cutesy but it's really fucked yes. up? Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay. It, there's actually an NSFW edition of uh, this game Did where you guys there's get the NSFW? no, we don't. But there, there, it's strip rule. Is there stripping rules into it? And there's also drinking rules into it. Oh fuck yes! There's if you guys like this game, you guys need to get the base game, and then you guys get the NSFW version. Then we got we got, so when we were Kyle, we got an expansion pack. There's three expansion packs for it. We had we got this uh, uh, this expansion pack when we were at Kyle's. Uh, it was like an Armageddon expansion pack where there was like the four unicorns of, of like you know yeah, the four like so like four horsemen like the four unicorns of death or whatever, and like uh, and it was all apocalyptic th- theme. And then when me and Christine, I we had to open up. Yeah, we're gonna wait till this weekend. Oh. It's all dragon theme. And then there's another one that's like NSF, NFSW, which is all like. Obviously, yeah, it's the Rainbow Apocalypse. Yeah, that's the one it's we the, got. It's the NSFW. And then we have the me and Christine and personally have the dragon dragons, one. and yeah. then you have the base game. Yeah, so we have the base game and the dragons one. We haven't seen the dragon one yet, so we got that one instead. Yeah. So we already saw the, the apocalypse one. The apocalypse one had a bunch of like recycled cards, so it wasn't that it was okay. But like this one has like all brand new cards, so like, we're gonna get this one. And then obviously we need the NSW because uh, uh, <laughs> she's like, I don't want to see people strip <laughs> playing this one. <laughs> Oh, you don't want to see my face. I told him we used to get it for the, the, the drinking version of it. <laughs> like, why do we have the strip for it? <laughs> I mean, maybe you and Christine could strip, play a strip version of it. I mean, I'm down for that. I mean, Herb, I don't want to see your little wiener. Oh, you want to see I've my little bat before. dick? I've seen it before. I know. <laughs> I don't see your bat dick. <laughs> you, want see, you want to see my little bat dick? Come on, my little bat dick. Yeah, but that game was... I was to Lou. I'm like, hey, Lou, you want, you want to see my bat dick? She was like, you fuck. What are you gonna do, like hang up and down? Like, no, look at my little back dick. My little back dick upside down. Woo! But um, I think you and Luann, you guys would love this game. Yeah, Luann will probably beat us anyway. Oh, oh yeah, she definitely will. She'll read the rules, or yeah. she'll she'll read the rules. She'll read the it's cards. It's like it's 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 really simple too, honestly. Like like oh, he's kind of explaining kids where at first it's like it seems kind of complicated, but then once you play like like one quick round, like you'll know how to play. Yeah, like, like the first like your first like three turns, you're kind of like I don't know what the fuck I'm. Oh, like yeah, oh, but you catch on super fast. Yeah. Like Christina, that, that never like. 
Oh, sorry. Because Christina like never played like those kind of games. Like she caught on like super fast. Like that's how we, yeah. like, like it's hard for her to play those kind of games. But like she really liked this one a lot. Oh, that's cool. She was the one that suggested buying it too. I'm like, damn, really? She's like, yeah, this game was awesome. Like, all right, true. Nice, man. Right. That's cool. But oh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Fuck, I can't remember. I don't know. I'm slowly trying to get her into playing stuff like that. One day, if I'm my playing cards right, I'm gonna have her in a trading card game. One day, playing Good luck. like yeah, no, that's probably never gonna happen. But if that happened, oh my god. We would be broke. Like, yeah. I feel like, because I would buy her everything then, if that was the case. If she, if she's like, if she just how I want to play, like, I, I, like, the game I think she would want to play is Pokemon cards, and if, well, one, it's almost impossible to have Pokemon cards nowadays, because uh, there's always that one card that costs about $80 that has to be in every deck, essentially. What card is it? Right now, it's, it's, it's one of the Tapu cards. Tapu, uh, oh, I forgot her fucking, the squid, the squid looking, ta- uh, you know, oh, you play, yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you played Sun and Moon, right? No, oh, okay. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's one of the Tapus, so apparently that card's about $80. I was reading an article about it just recently. It's about $80 now, and you need four of them in your deck, and I'm like, oh, cool. The fuck? Yeah, like, like, dude, like, that's why me and Carson got out of Pokemon, because there was a card or two that's like, that, like like, because the meta for that game is so slim. Like, there's either only one or two decks that are really good in that game, and that's it. And so all the cards for it are always, like, really hella expensive. It's not like Magic, but there's, like, multiple decks that are in the meta. Like, so. But anyways, it's back to what I was saying earlier. I want to get Christine on a trading card game. And it probably would be Pokemon if I did get her on it. Yeah. I mean, good luck. That probably won't happen. No, it's not going to happen. I know, it was hard enough getting her to play, like, Catan or anything like that. And she enjoyed Catan, too. I know too. she did, yeah, yeah. But. Yeah, she, she, you guys love me. You, like, you guys fucking made me struggle for that shit. I was like, I want to end the game right now. I know, I know. And you guys are like, nah. I know. Not like fuck. you fuckers. I know, you were close. And then Lou came in, they're like, ha ha. I know. Here's my Superman dick. It's always the case. <sighs> she always freaking wins, man. I know. I like when we first played DC Deck Builder with her, like, she she did really good, and then all of a sudden you guys are like, she goes like, I got fifty five. You're like, I got like forty. I'm like, I got fifty three. And you and her both looked at me like, the fuck? How the fuck did you have fifty three? I'm like, well, I would have had more if I didn't have so many fucking weaknesses. I know that's true. We gave you a shit ton of weaknesses. Yeah, because I went for off because I did the because I did the like the Suicide Squads the yeah, like, yeah. the ones that build up mm. so I had like four Suicide Squads so it's like well each one's worth four points yeah. so that's 16 points right dude, there dude they're doing they do competitive competitions that cool stuff more like they've been doing it more frequently lately I'm like we gotta do one of those for one DC day. Deck Builder? yeah that'll be interesting they do competitions now like over at uh, the, the Maitland one I've been seeing more and more uh, uh, events for it I'm like damn like yeah, that'd be fun to do that place smells so bad some days it does. Some days it Saturdays does. it smells the worst. Yeah. Friday Saturdays, knows Fridays, dude. Friday and Magic. Oh, yeah. Friday's pretty bad. Fridays is like the craziest day over there. Yeah, because cool they stuff. do Friday. I've done that once. And it was funny because they were like... I've done it multiple times. <laughs> it was like, we start at 7. Okay, cool. I get there like at 7.02. Oh, yeah. You already missed the the, the draft. And blah, 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 blah. I was like, the fuck? It's yeah. 7.02. Plus they start at 7. They usually end at midnight or later. Yeah, so I get that. That's how people show like, up to it. Yeah, my buddy's like, dude, you're supposed to get here at 7, so that way you could sign up. I'm like, dude, I got here at 7.02. I was trying to find parking for like 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah the parking sucks. And this was like at the old location, too. So he was like, nah, dude, I told you, I got get here early. Oh, the old uh, Aloma? Yeah, the old Aloma location. Yeah. And he was like, oh, well, I mean, we could play a few games if you want. I'm like, nah, dude, I mean, in the middle of a game, you're going to have to go play against your opponent. He goes, yeah, that's true. You what, deck were you, what deck were you running? Was it a draft? I don't, uh, no, I did. I've done one draft and it sucked. I like doing drafts more than actual like a bit of the. Dude, the fucking draft place. I did one draft mm-hmm. and it was uh right uh gamers gamer academy. Yeah, yeah. That was on university and uh, dean. Yeah. I did it when they first opened up. It was a five dollar draft and it was like three packs and all that shit. Every motherfucker <laughs> in that. There's probably like ten pulled planeswalkers. They all pulled planeswalker, <laughs> but me. So here I am, and it's like, okay, it's gonna be best two out of three. Blah, blah, blah. That's the only bad thing about drafts. Like, yeah, if you pull shit, then you're gonna lose. Like, you might as well just scoop and just not play and take the cards. And what the the fucked up thing that happened was was my first game I played against was against the number one person in the store. Oh god! Like she lives there. Like she legitly like used to live there. Like the moment it opened up to the moment they closed, that's where she would be twenty four seven. That's, I wish I had time like that to so, do that shit. So I get 
I get pulled up against her, so she already has like this huge stack, like combo, blah, 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 blah. like she with twenty planes rock or somehow she fucking pulled them all. Jeez. And she whoops my ass. Yeah. So then I play against another person, the number two person in the store. God, I'm like dog. the fuck. So by the third game, I'm like, let me guess, you're the third ranked person in the store. They're like, no, I'm the fourth. Fuck it, you win. Did you really? Yeah, I'm like, fuck it, you win. That's awesome. And then the the people that did it with uh, Judy and her boyfriend Derek, mm. it was they're like, yeah, you know, we 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 lost, we lost. Like she got eliminated, but her boyfriend Derek made it to the next round. I was talking to Judy. I'm like, what the? Fuck? I didn't know these were like the top ranked people. I was like, man, I got my ass kicked by her, him, and him. And she goes. Oh, yeah, she's number one, he's number two, and he's, like, number four. I was like, the fuck out of here. She goes, yeah, you got a really bad draw. Yeah, what are the odds of that? I'm man? like, no fucking shit. I got zero <laughs> planeswalker. I got zero good cards. Because usually when you open up the first deck, it's like you have that one, like, marquee card. That's like, oh, yeah, fuck everyone yeah. always takes the uh, the mythic rare or the, uh, uh, the, like, the, like, the rare one, the card first, no matter what, I feel like. My rare card was like, oh. It's like a shit one. It's like, it's like oh. Counterspell. It costs one less to play. Thanks. Yeah. There's a couple of times where, yeah, I, I pull out, like, just, like, just shit. But there's a couple that I, talk, I pull out some good Mythic Rares out of those drafts. Like, I pulled, like, a Planeswalker before yeah, the and draft. Yeah, I never pulled any, like, those good Mythic Rares. All I got was, like, oh, wow, look, I have, like, let's say Mythic Rares at the top, then it's gold, silver, yeah. and shit. Yeah. I got, like, gold. It was, like, oh, my God, I got a gold card. What'd you get? I could take a shit and wipe. <laughs> That's a great card. That's a great card. Well, I got... I could take a shit and use the bidet and get a blowjob at the same time. <laughs> get a, wow! Get a, get a, <laughs> Thanks! I could wipe my ass, but no, no, no. You get, you, get, you get water for your ass, you fuckers. <laughs> That's awesome. God, so, now it makes me want to play Magic. Thinking about playing, now I think about about drafts and shit, and I'm like, fuck, I want to play Magic now. But yeah, that was my experience with the draft. I was like, fuck it, I'm never doing this shit again. Yeah. And I tried to do it again another time. Dude, competitive it. Magic is rough. I mean, any competitive card yeah. is rough, but like Magic is like the worst because the hardest learning curve, dude. Like, dude, they're, like when I first got into Magic, twenty some, twenty yeah, about twenty years ago, mm. no more than twenty years ago. Fuck. It's a while, huh? Yeah. Game's been around for a long time. It was very like simplistic. Like, there was like techniques and skills. But, like, it was pretty simplistic to build well, pretty up Pretty much a, anyone can play, essentially. Yeah, to build up a strategy. Now, with all the cards, all the Dude, special abilities... Dude, it's unreal now. I'm like, I tried playing... Different formats now, like, where you can do, like, Expanded, or you do le- leg- uh, Legacy, or yeah. you do, like, you know, uh, Popper. Like, it's just all... It's it's so much to keep track yeah. of. Dude, it's and so much. I remember when, like, Magic X or Magic Anniversary came out. It was like, oh, we made it more simplistic. I'm looking at this show, I'm like... Y'all may have motherfuckers made this shit more complicated. Dude, every, every set now has a new keyword, and you have to yeah. keep up track with it. Like, that's why I had to stop playing, too. I was like, dude, this is too much. I remember when Haste was, like, the... Was like the Haste shit. is still awesome. It was, like, it was like, when they first introduced Haste, I'm like, fuck you, Haste. Yeah. No summoning sickness, attack you for two, bitch. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, Shadow. The yeah, or, or something. Yeah, or like, for like, like there's a new one. I think it's like, like prevail or something like that. Like I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, it's like trample rage, trample rage, reach around. I'm like, the reach fuck around. around. What the fuck is this shit? Reach around. <laughs> I wish that was one of those. Yeah. Instead of reaches, reach around. <laughs> it's like, what, what the fuck are you doing? It's like, well, it has trample, so you're fucked because you're gonna lose your thing regardless. I'm like, yeah. Mine's just a four four. Yours is a four four, but it has trample, so it dies. Yeah. Okay, fine. But first goes, strike, it's, it dies, and your in, in your card doesn't die. Like cool. <laughs> okay, cool. And then it's like, oh, reach around. I come around and kill all your guys, salt the earth, and then fuck you in the ass. <laughs> I'm like, the fuck. Yeah. Dude. Uh, My worst thing was when I played like competitively is playing pe- people that had no creatures and they had nothing but just like counter spells oh, and like those spells that just made me have a lot of cards in their hand and they were, and they just like. I, I, I'm like, dude, fuck you, man. Like, I had a deck like that because my brother built it. Dude, fuck that. It was, it was a burn. It, it, it killed your deck because you had like yeah. stones, grindstones, yeah. counter spell. Like, it was a really cool deck, but that was advanced. I, I was know. Like, that was like the fuck. That just like ruins. Like, decks like that ruins those kind of games. I'm just like, and, and like, and usually people that play, they, 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 they hate their lives. They have like no fun with the game. Yeah. They're, they're just playing mechanically, just like I do this, I do this, I do this, I do. This. You're like, dude. And there's some people that they'll kill you in like 
two turns. Yeah, or sometimes like whenever they play cards, they don't say what it is, and like I'm like, like whoa, like slow down. What the fuck are you doing right now? Like, like, like they'll tap a card and do something. Like, oh, he's dead. I'm like, why? Like, come on, slow down. Does he have card. reach around? Yeah, does I don't he, see reach around. Is he gonna is he gonna touch my dick or something? I'm like, what the fuck? Man? Is he has, does he has bat dick? Is it, fuck. <laughs> he has rage trample bat dick reach around. Fuck. <laughs> rage trample bat dick reach around. <laughs> We're fucked. We're, We're fucked. fucked. Yep. That's... He's he's got bat dick. Oh my god. And he hands up to them as a slaps you. Fuck. Yeah. Man, now I want to play magic. You may want to play magic now. Just thinking about it, like that's that is a good game. But yeah, you're yeah. right, dude. Like it's just it's so complicated at this point now. Yeah, and there's a lot of card games that are like they're simple, like DC deck builder simplistic, but they're starting to get into like the complication realm, and they're starting to get a little bit more complicated. I was like, oh. I know. Like, that's why, like, like honestly, like you know when that big box came out, they have yeah. a new like. Game style you could play. I looked at it, I'm like, that just seems too much. Dude, I, this will be the only negative things I say about Teen Titans Go, but I bought the the deck building version of it. Yeah. I'm thinking, okay, it's Teen Titans Go. It's going to be. It's not that good? Dude, I opened it up. I started reading the rules. I'm like, the fuck am I reading? It's not like the original. It's not. No, it's, 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 it's totally the, different. It's the new rules. Like really? The, the new rules that they added in. What new rules? Like what? what it's like example? a new the new style. Like I I can't remember because this was a couple of months ago. But I was just reading. I was like, "Fuck this shit." Lou, do you want to play the original DC deck builder? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's way more simple. Yeah, but it, it was hard. Like I was like, "This is ridiculous." This is supposed to be for kids. I can't do this shit. Fuck that, man. Yeah, I know. But uh, fuck, dude. Uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else, but I, I keep forgetting. I saw something that cool. So, uh, oh, yeah. uh, the, uh, real fast. Uh, so on Friday, cause I, I had to go up there before I went and saw Cox. I got him yeah. a gift. I got him a, a Disney code names. You know. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. Laura would want to play that because Laura is like kind of like Christine doesn't like playing. Like, she's not into those kind of yeah. stuff that much. But Kyle's been getting her to do a couple of things. That's pretty cool. But anyway, so I got that. Cause I'm thinking, oh, Laura would like to play this one too. So when I was there, though, I was getting you know stuff for myself as well. And then I saw a guy, <laughs> so fucking crazy. He was this big old huge dude, old older looking guy. You know, he had a white just nasty ass shirt, and he had gym shorts, but. The gym shorts were held up by suspenders he had. He made. Oh my so. fucking god! And when I saw that, I was I also took a picture of it, but I was felt like he was too close and a little too suspicious. But I was like, oh my god! I took my brother right away. Like, dude, there's a guy in cool stuff with hold, have suspenders holding up his basketball shorts. He's like, no fucking way! Like, take a picture now. Like, dude, I can't. I feel so bad. Dude, that's like trashy 101. Isn't that crazy? One. It's like, dude. He was wearing a white plain shirt and basketball shorts. And it was up to his, his basketball shorts, obviously up to his, way past his belly button. And he was held up by suspenders, dude. He bought suspenders for them, man. They already have fucking, it's a, they have an elastic band that you literally It wasn't tie. good enough for him. You tie that. Oh, God. Is he one of those fat guys that like everything just like. Yeah. Blends into one. Yeah. And you just have like, it's like, it's just a blob with legs. Yeah. Oh my fucking God, the dude, that's fucking fat. Yeah. That's disgusting, man. Like, well, it's weird. Well, he wasn't like wide. He was just like out. That's oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He wasn't a wide guy. He was just an like out dude. Yeah, everything was like hang, hung over. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's disgusting. Was the, did he have like the, oh no, but his shorts were like all the way up, like to like, like a pass his okay. belly button. Just about. I was going to ask, like, did he, Oh God, this is this is bad. But like, have you seen those fat people? Like they're walking around and they're they're so fat. They're wearing like an extra large shirt. Yeah. And you just see their fat just hang off. I like, used to kind of be like that once in a while. I, like I would actually. Like, oh, oh wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about like they're like it's too tight on them? They're wearing like a regular shirt. Oh, never mind. No, I thought I got. No, no, I I'm not talking wear... about like too tight. I'm talking about like they're wearing a regular shirt. Yeah. But they're so fat that their fat like hangs. Like, oh, never mind. No, no, yeah, that, and uh, yeah. You're looking at them like, dude, that's pretty disgusting. Yeah, that's pretty and then bad. you see the fat, and the fat is like. At their like thighs, you're like, oh. I've seen that before too, many times in cool stuff in other car places and in comic places too. I'm like, dude, like, well, like, how does he? How did that person just like is okay with that? Yeah. Like, how? I don't. I would be so embarrassed that you walk out of the door. Dude, I'll just be embarrassed with my life and just like sit in a room and just like cry myself to sleep and just like hopefully I lose the weight. That that or motivate me to like go work out yeah. and get better and like or get surgery or something, dude. Because dude, fuck that. Yeah, like, like, how do you walk out with a, just like your gut hanging? I out wish like I asked that? Julian how he felt about that. That's true. <laughs> uh-huh. Fuck you, Julian. <laughs> How's Denver, bitch? Uh, for real. You know what's gonna happen? He's gonna be like, "Fuck you, Brian. I was never that fat." Uh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, uh. I don't know. I'm a pretty big dude, but I'll, I'll ask Kendall to see what he says. 
Last coup? I'll ask Henry to see what he says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Henry, how fat was Julian? Yeah. Ha ha. Fat ass. Anyway. Uh, fuck. Okay, I think we're done. Yeah. We accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. Yeah, it's pizza day today, so Christine got pizza for Ooh, us. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Even though we should be running work, actually, she has to run a race this Saturday. But oh, shit. Okay. That's right, fuck. Yeah, she... Well, after the race on Saturday, yes. No, I'm going to be over. at the Magic Kingdom. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's going to be mostly at Disney anyway. Getting the Doom the Buggy Pop. Oh, no. I want that one so badly. I told Christine you guys were doing that, and she was like, oh, I want to do that. And like, But she's like, I have to do this race, though. I'm like, well, you signed up for it, so. <laughs> yeah. Because we could have been in the Magic Kingdom at 7 o'clock in the morning with Brian and Luann. Yeah. And how, like, was the, how was the experience last time? Oh, dude, talked? it was fun, man. Like we, uh, You guys got the, what was the pop again? Splash Mountain. Yeah, Splash Mountain pop a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, you showed me a picture of it. It's pretty dope looking. Yeah, like the 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 details that it has was was really cool. That's what I would want. I want, I want that one. That was one of my favorite rides. So. Yeah, I really like that one a lot. And like the look, uh, bear, uh, bear, 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 bear. You can see like his little feet. Oh like, really? And it stuck out. So it was like it was really like oh, the details funny. in it was really cool. That's cool. And man. the Doom buggy, I'm gonna see like if he's. I don't think I've seen it yet. Oh, the Doom buggy. Yeah, one? yeah. I'll do Only, it. Fucking... Uh, you might have showed me. I can't remember now. Yeah, it's pretty badass. <laughs> and this is the type of shit I do. Like I just like. You were the pop king, by the way. Oh, I have never seen so much, so much, so one person more into pops than you are. Dude, trust me. There's, there's people. I mean, it probably is. Oh, dude, that, oh my God. You need, does Christine know what that looks like? You need to send that to her. She's on Instagram now, right? You send that to Instagram. Yeah. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? But yeah, no, so there's a lot, a lot of people like really more hardcore than I am. Like my buddy that we do it with, him and his girlfriend, that, them at the Geekies, you do, they are like, they're obsessed with this shit because they buy, flip, sell, and they do all that stuff. And yeah. I'm just like, I just, Buy because I like it. I don't, I don't, know. don't say that. Yeah, I've seen you buy pops and sell them instantly. Sometimes no, not instantly. Well, they give it a couple of weeks. I feel like yeah, you know because well, you know when to sell it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't I, lie to yourself. I did fuck up with the the gold, the red eye golden freezer. Really? I sold it for a hundred bucks, and then all of a sudden, all the DVZ like it stayed at a hundred dollars for like maybe three, four months. It just stayed a hundred bucks, hundred bucks. Really? Bucks. Yeah. Is so, it more now? Dude, right now it's worth like three hundred dollars. Wait, what, what what freezer is this again? Uh gold uh Golden Freezer? Yeah, it's red eyed gold freezer. Red eyed gold is, is that a variant? Like a like It's a, a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Oh, that's one. Because they had two. They had this they had the shared exclusive, which was the golden freezer with black eyes. Then they had the gold freezer with red eye, and that's the one I had. Oh, uh, I got you. Is that Vegeta one still so hell expensive? I would love to have a Vegeta one if it was so expensive. That one looks so dope. Oh, okay, that one. Yeah, yeah I sold it for a hundred bucks and now it's going for three hundred. I'm like motherfucker. Damn. Uh, which one, the metallic Vegeta, or the 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 uh, the, uh, the the uh, RL uh, pa- oh, oh whatever. dude, that thing's going for thousands. I know that's so dude, crazy. I saw that shit for like two hundred bucks years ago. I texted just money. Oh, just money. Look, they have it for two hundred dollars. He's like, oh man, you know that's a lot of money for that pop. I can't, I can't afford it. I'm like, all right, man, no worries. Now it's like. Now you wish you got it now. Now I wish I got it because I was like. You could have gotten ten times the amount of money. Trip. Yeah, dude. I would, I would have been able to get at least a couple thousand dollars. Because that Seven one's concerned. There's like a few that are concerned, like the Grails upon Grails. That's one of them. Like that's the one. Like everyone's like, oh my god, I need that one. That's so crazy. That one blew up so big like that. Because it was one of the first exclusives. That's true. That's a good point. It was, yeah. That's why. I keep forgetting that. Like, that, I remember that. Like, that, like whenever that first came out, like, the, this is our first exclusive. One of our first exclusives. Some shit like that. I'm like, fuck. That was a good choice then. Yeah. Being and- Dragon Ball Z. I've been watching, by the real fast, I've been watching a lot. I've been re-watching Dragon Ball Z lately, man. Yeah, and one, yeah, one of the fuck up, fucked up things about, like, the, about the pops is they, they, they'll vault pops that are, Nobody wants like they'll start vaulting them because they're like whatever. No one's buying them. Really? As yeah, as soon as they get vaulted, everyone starts losing their shit. Like, oh my god, it's vaulted! I need it! I need it! I need it! And you're like, dude, like, you hey, have... it's vaulted. Did they just say on the website or something like that or Twitter? They'll uh, say something. They'll or... make a list of them. Like, oh, we're vaulting these pops and these pops and these. Is there pops. any pops I have that are vaulted? <laughs> uh, the Sonic one. If you had the boxes, the Sonic. I do. Vocals. I still do. And the boxes are in great shape. Sure. Yeah, the Sonic the Hedgehog pops are going for a couple hundred bucks. 
Really? Yeah. I'm not gonna sell that one. You gave me that one. That was a yep. good one. Yeah. Uh, like that. The, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, original I'll, Sonic. Yeah. Damn. Really? That's yep. crazy, dude. And then Knuckles. Oh, oh I don't have the Knuckles one. I think you did have Knuckles. No, I wish I had. I have been a good one to have too. I like Knuckles a lot. Yeah. So and some of the older ones, they're like Spike, like Spike Spiegel. I don't have any of the Cowboy Bebop ones. It's a fucking horror show that I don't have that. I don't know why I don't have those. I have those, and then, like, Spike is worth, like, $40. I was like, the fuck? Damn, yeah. I you should have got even... them when they first came out. Yeah, 45 You couldn't even give them away a couple of years ago. I know. And... I wish I wish I got them when they first came out. That was stupid of me. And he became vaulted, so everyone's like, oh, my God. I'm still, like, like, I like the pops, but I still like them so much where I spend, so, like, a lot. I, I bought, like, some of the Dragon Ball Z ones. I bought the Swamp Thing one. I bought a couple of yeah. know, DC ones. There's very few, but, like, I'm not, like... I'm just not super sold into it sometimes. Yeah, and, like, Lou keeps asking me, like, well, why do you buy so many? I'm like, one, it's the nostalgia. Two, it's, like, certain ones, like, you don't expect them to go so high up. Like, I spent 50 bucks for the Abominable Snowman from Matterhorn. Yeah. I bought him a couple of, like, a year ago for 50 bucks. I was like, oh, man, you know, I just spent 50 bucks. It's a lot of money. Now he's going for 140 Wow. So it's just stuff like you just never know that they're going to blow up. Yeah. And there's some that are like, everyone's thinking, oh, it's going to blow up, it's going to be huge, and it ends up just being nothing. Like Mikasa. I bought Mikasa uh, Ackerman because I was like, oh, yeah, I love I love Mikasa because me and her see her the same birthday. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's 46 bucks. The fuck? Wow, really? Yeah, because it's vaulted. And I was like, oh, Attack on Titan. But whatever. Dude, uh, that new season came out, didn't it? I haven't yeah, watched dude. it yet. I haven't seen it. I gotta, I gotta catch up on a lot of anime. I know, I've been watching, uh, like I said, I've been watching Dragon Ball Z whenever I have a chance to watch anime. Um, I've been watching, I, I've been watching political science books. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I watch them just sit on my fucking desk going, I gotta fucking read this shit, and I don't, and then I fail a quiz, so I'm like, fuck. Better not fuck up, bro. Oh yeah, man, I'm gonna fuck it up. Better not. University of fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, under construction forever, man. You can't finish. You can't finish. You can't finish. Woo! That too. What's that? Oh, fuck. What? Uh, Lou sent me something about password shit. But anyway. We're done. We're yeah. good. Yeah. So, right here, probably, right here, yeah. Probably. Yeah. It's already 635. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are Cornopper. You can find us on multiple different social media platforms. Plus, I got to get 90th anniversary uh, Mickey Oreos at Target. Really? Yeah. Mickey Oreos, huh? 90th anniversary, baby. Mickey wow. Oreos. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm a Disney bitch. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, social media, all that stuff. Um, we're not really too good on it, so. Uh, best yeah. To, I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to get a little better. Facebook's on. the better option. Um, if anything, you always see what I am up to at the GWW. I've been writing reviews. Mm-hmm. Um, we we're supposed to do a panel at MegaCon Tampa. But not, uh, anymore. not anymore. One because too much shit that we gotta do, and second they weren't gonna pay for our passes, so we're like, fuck that shit. Yeah, that was kind of messed yeah. up. So we're not doing that. But I might be at New York Comic Con. I know, dude. I saw an email, and I was just like, yo, are you doing this? Yeah, because I'm gonna be up in that. Maybe in New York. Because we're gonna go see BTS. See that? Oh my god! If I would have planned this out more properly, see, see I, I'm defending on the fourth. That would have been the most like perfect like gift for me of like someone like like uh, I should have like what BTS? No, go to New oh. York, New York oh, okay. Comic Con. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about BTS. No, like I should have like uh, got tickets for that, and then like yeah, I don't know. I should. Well, tickets I should... went on sale back in like March. I know. And I forgot that they went on sale, so I didn't buy them then. I was like, oh fuck. And then Lou wanted to go see BTS. It was the same weekend. So I was like, "Fuck it, let me apply for a press pass." What's the worst that could happen? They and say, you "No." Got it. I got it. I can't believe you got it. I dude. can't believe I got it either. So I'm like, "The fuck?" Did you go there for G G W W? Yeah, and I think what it is, since I'm always writing, I, I write at least two reviews a week. Yeah. That it was just one of those like, "Oh yeah, you know, you're consistent with reviews," and like I bash Brian Michael Bendis. I bash stuff that sucks. Nice. But anyway, always yes. with the hate coin operated. I know, fuck coin operated. <laughs> fuck hard fuck at work. <laughs> fuck everything. Yeah, fuck the back dick. Back dick forever. <laughs> back dick for life. Yes. Fuck. Back dick did it.